Hello, my name is Robert DeMars. There's some uh, situations I need to discuss. Um, it's been going on for a very long time, and uh, I just want to get off my chest of what's really going on. Um, some of the issues I have listed here are, why am I here at Orca? Well, the reason why I'm here at Orca is because I'm a victim of cyberbullying. Um, there's been lies about me on the internet, as far as pictures, as far as words, um, and the bad thing is that people believe in it. Um, what I want to explain is what's really going on as far as what you're seeing on the internet and what you are reading are nothing but lies. Um, things like, um, um, I'm afraid to get laid, or I F like a dog, or uh, I don't want children, um, I don't want pets, um, I can't have kids, and so on. All right? What are you reading and what you're seeing on the internet is nothing but lies. Um, the reason why they're doing it, I don't know, maybe they're bored, or um, I don't know, maybe it's a revenge thing. Um, but I want to explain to you what's going on so you understand what's going on as far as on my side of the story, not what you are reading or what you are looking at on the internet. Um, second issue is how it all might begin. Well, it began, I think what it began, on February 1st, 2014. Um, I think my brother's involved, simply because I um, found out that he was growing and selling marijuana in his basement and uh, he was two houses away from an elementary school, and uh, so I turned him in on authorities. Um, the thing is, I think he's part of the reason why he started all this. I can't um, for sure if he started it, but I have, have a hunch that he has. Um, I think it's part of revenge. I think he's still mad at me for doing that, but um, I feel I did the right thing, um, and uh, and I think that's why, you know, how this all started is because of him. Um, so, anyway, um, when it really started was um, in Holyoke, Mass, October 2015, um, when I was walking out of a building, and um, a guy was purposely bending over in front of me, and I didn't think nothing of it. He had a camera phone. And uh, ever since then, it started happening more and more. And I'm hearing in society as time goes on that uh, you no, know, that uh, you know uh, I'm gay, I'm 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 fag, this and that, and I was wondering why, and I find out of all the things I've been seeing, as far as guys constantly bending over in front of me with a camera phone, now I'm just starting to all come together, you know, so oh, okay, so um, since then things are getting worse and worse. Um, and um, um, well, I don't know why people are doing this. Like I say, it could be a revenge thing. Um, I just um, I don't know, but I think my brother might be involved. But the situation is that, for one, you know, I'm not gay. I was never gay. I got, no, I'm not down putting any uh, women or guys that are gay. I'm just saying I'm not gay. I have a woman. Um, she's very beautiful, very kind-hearted woman down to earth. And um, uh, I care about her very much. Um, you know, if things go well and we're still together for a long time, I'm thinking about marrying her, you know, uh, having some children, you know. Um, but, um, you know, if, Something happens between us if we break up or if she passes on. Um, I will remain single for the rest of my life because there's no other woman like her. And, um, and that's that. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm blessed with a woman like her. And uh, I'm glad I met her. Uh, she's the center of my life. And um, so, like I said, I'm blessed. But anyway, um, 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 the other issue is uh, I want to discuss what's going on as far as cyberbullying now. Well, like I said, um, there are guys out there that are purposely bending over in front of me, taking a picture, 
and putting on the internet. There's two things that are used against me, um, two features on the phone. Uh, one is camera 360, which is a camera um, that you can look down. It takes pictures of a 360 degree radius. Um, you want to know your picture's being taken. Um, but um, that's the bad thing about it. You know, anyone could take a picture of you while actually holding up a camera phone to your face. Um, um, so that's been used a lot lately. Uh, another one is photo imaging, is when they take a picture of you, change your expression on your face, and put it on the internet. So um, what's been going on with me is that people have been doing this um, to change the expression on my face, make it look like I'm smiling or laughing or whatever the hell they're doing on there. Um, and that's a lie because for one, like I said, I'm not gay, I have a girlfriend. You know, um, so um, that's been happening a lot lately. Um, so those are the two features that's been used against me a lot on the camera phones uh, when people are setting me up. Um, uh, and then um, I got women who are bending over in front of me, make it look like I'm cheating on my girlfriend. The only ass I'm, I want to look at is my girlfriend's. All right, I, I, I you know, I have. I don't know where people are getting as far as um, trying to set me up, but like I said, my girlfriend is the center of my life. The only ass I'm looking at is hers, and that's that. Um, like I said, I got women bending over in front of me, trying to set me up, look like I'm cheating on my girlfriend. I got guys bending over in front of me to look like I'm gay. And now, well, a while ago, recently, I guess, I had to quit my job because um, I was working at a college that involved teenagers and they were doing it because they think it's a big fat joke. I don't think any of this is funny, all right? Um, you know, it just, um, I don't think it's funny. I mean, it ruins lives and, uh, you know, I lost some friends, some family members and, uh, and I had a girlfriend over 10 years until now, you know. Um, this has been going on for over 10 years. Um, as far as the lies on the internet. Um, but, um, but you know, I had to quit my job because of the teenagers doing this. Um, so, you know, it was a good paying job too. You know, I got along with staff and um, my coworkers, you know, thought I was a good worker, but uh, I had to leave my job because, you know, the teenagers are doing the same thing as the guys out in society, bending over, taking a picture of me, um, put it on the internet, change my expression on my face. Um, how they're doing it is um, they're um, throwing me off guard, you know, or uh, when I least expect something's gonna happen. Uh, for instance, if I'm walking out of a building, there'll be a guy across the street bending over in front of me, taking a picture. Or if I'm coming around the corner, or if um, I'm at a gas station pumping gas, and I turn my head, there's a guy across the parking lot bending over, taking a picture. So they only do this when I least expect it, okay? So, um, you know, it's, it's pathetic. I mean, you got grown men acting like children. I mean, don't they got something better else to do than uh, set me up, you know? I mean, they should go out, get a job, or do some voluntary work, or go to college, or I don't care if they play in traffic. To stop harassing me. Do something with your life, you know. Um, I just want to be left alone. All right. I just want to be successful in life. Um, you know, be happy with my woman, and you know, make a family, and so on. Okay. Um, I don't appreciate getting harassed. Um, you know, if people got nothing better to do, then do find something to do. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just getting tired of being harassed and being insulted, being threatened, um, being laughed at. Um, you know, so you know, I don't think this is funny at all. Um, it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody else out there. Um, so, um, so that's that. Um, uh, um, as far as, um, well, the kinds of people, anyone's been doing this. I mean, everywhere. 
I've been um, set up in five states. So this is not just um, Vermont I'm being set up on, all right? It's everywhere. Um, uh, all kinds of people, all kinds of places. Um, it just, um, it's not a small problem here. It's, it's you know, a whole country. Um, so I don't appreciate it uh, being a victim of something or being accused of something that I'm not, all right? Um, no, I, I'm not gay. I'm not gonna cheat on my girlfriend. Um, as far as the teenagers, I don't know what the hell that was all about, but I don't think that's you know, appropriate. Um, I got parents telling their kids to walk near me, so it looks like I'm always hanging around with kids, you know? I mean, it, it just gets so stupid, you know? It, it just, I have no respect for society because people are playing these little games using this high-tech technology against me. Now, if it's used against me, it can be used against anywhere else in society. Um, I'm probably not the only victim, but I am probably the most known victim um, because it's happened to me almost every day. I mean, it's just some stupid shit. I mean, you people need to move on and get on with your life and stop harassing me, okay? Um, I will fight for my innocence, all right? Um, I don't care, you know, uh, you know if I, who I'm fighting, where I'm fighting, um, you know, blood will be spilled. I mean, I don't give a shit. If it comes down to a fight, it comes down to a fight. I will fight for my innocence, you know? Um, I will be defiant to the end. So I'm not gonna be pushed around by society as far as threats or insults or uh, anything else. So I just wanna be successful in life, be happy with my girlfriend, and um, hopefully start another family because I do have a son, a 20 year old, and he's doing very well. And um, I just, you know, I'm the type of guy that just um, keeps to himself. You know, I don't bother nobody. I don't know why people are constantly doing this, but then again, you know, misery likes company. And, um, and um, like again, I think one of the reasons why all this started is because my brother hates me before I'd done. I think I did the right thing. I, I, how, who knows, maybe he was selling drugs to teenagers. I don't know. I just know that it's against the law to um, get involved with drugs near an elementary school. I mean, uh, you know, I thought I did the right thing. Apparently, uh, you know, my brother thinks I didn't. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But, um, but anyway, um, too bad for him because I think I did the right thing. So, um, uh, the other issue is um, the aftermath of all this. Well, like I said, I lost some friends, some family members. Um, I was homeless for about 10 years. Um, simply because nobody wanted me to hire me for a job. No landlord had nothing to do with me because they went thought I was gay. You know, so, um, so yeah, it, it ruined my life. I mean, I don't think homeless is uh, a joke. Um, it just, um, I didn't appreciate it, you know. Um, doesn't matter how, how hard I tried to um, get a job or try and find a place to live, um, nobody had nothing to do with me, you know. And I think it's because people thought I was gay, um, which is a lie. Because I'm not gay. I always like women. Always have. Always will. Um, so, um, but since I have a girlfriend now, I can't go around looking at girls' asses and tits because I'm committed to my girlfriend. All right. I said that before um, on the internet, on Facebook. I do have a web page um, explaining what I'm explaining to you now. Um, what's been going on. Um, and I, you know, I meant what I said for being committed to my girlfriend, you know? Um, so, um, she's a good woman and that's one of the people I really trust, you know? Um, um, so, um, far as women bending over in front of me, um, you know, if I don't look at their ass, it's because I'm committed to a girlfriend, okay? Uh, doesn't mean I'm gay, because I'm not. Uh, but like I said, it's not just guys setting me up. 
It's also women, teenagers, and kids, okay? This is why this whole thing's so stupid. I don't know what they're getting out of it, but um, get a life. So, um, um, I, you know, like I said, I lost some friends, uh, family members. Um, no woman wanted to date with me um, before I came to Vermont. Um, doesn't matter how hard I tried. Um, I always helped them out. Um, you know, I flirted with them, all that. Didn't take no interest um, to because that thought, um, you know, they had nothing to do with me um, because of what they were seeing and reading on the internet. Um, but now that's all changed. You know, I finally got a job. I got an apartment with my woman. Um, I got a girlfriend. Um, so, you know, things are picking up, things are looking good a little bit, but yet still I got people out there setting me up. Men, women, children, whatever, okay? Um, just to let you all know, um, the people of Vermont and who else is listening to this, um, that, you know, what you are seeing and reading on the internet is a lie, okay? So, um, um, so just let you know, um, if you have any questions, uh, go always ask me on the streets. So, um, but, um, but just, just remember, you know, if there's technology out there that is used against other people, I'm sure, that are making them what they're not, okay? Uh, like in my situation, I'm not gay, um, you know, I'm not into kids. Um, I mean, I do want another child. Um, so, but um, as far as um, can't have kids, I don't know where people are going around saying, you know, I don't know who do you think they are. They don't know who I am. Um, I want another child, you know. Um, I do want another family. Um, I do like pets. Um, and, uh, and, um, um, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what else, what other lies are on there. I mean, I'm just, the reason why I know all this is because what I'm hearing from society. Everywhere I go, I hear people talking. Um, one of the biggest mistakes that mankind makes is they like to gossip. And I hear everything. So, just to let you know, um, I don't know what else is on the internet about me. That's a lie. But, um, but, uh, um, it's a lie, okay? I just, you know, if, I don't know what else is on the internet because I'm just going by what I've been hearing on, what I've been hearing from society. Um, but, um, but, um, yeah. Um, the bargain or deal I want to make with you, since I don't know where this is, um, obviously some of you know that um, putting lies on the internet is against the law. So um, what I want to do is, um, since it has ruined my life, uh, made me homeless, jobless, um, like I said, I lost family and friends because of this, um, and, and was alone as far as not having a girlfriend because um, um, it, it just, uh, like I said, it ruined my life. You know, I was alone and uh, and uh, living on the streets, um, and um, it, it just had a big impact on me. Um, all because America believed in the lies on the internet. So, um, um, so anyone, and if anyone has any questions, just come up to me in society. You know, if you see me in the grocery store, or whatever, just ask me anything, right? I'll tell you. But the bargain I have here um, is that um, I don't know what it is in Vermont. Um, I know Massachusetts, Connecticut, I think it's one third uh, as far as lawsuits. Um, so I'm willing to make a deal with you. Since I'm not computer savvy, um, I don't know how to find this kind of thing. Um, if anyone finds it, as far as all the pictures, all the false statements against me that's been put on this website, 
there's just two, one I create, and another one that people create falsely against me. Um, the law, I don't know what it is in Vermont, maybe it's one third, I don't know, but whatever the lawyer takes from that lawsuit, whoever finds this and tells me where it is, um, I will also give you the same amount as the landlord, um, excuse me, as uh, the lawyer, okay? Um, so if the lawyer takes one third of the lawsuit, and of course they'll get paid way before anyone else gets paid, I'm willing to make a deal, sign a contract in front of the lawyer, um, stating that you know you found this information, and you'll get you know one third of that also. So I'm willing to throw it out to you. Um, uh, it's very important um, because. Um, there's been a crime committed and a lot of people are involved in it and the only victim of this crime is me because I'm being targeted constantly. Um, so, um, so if the lawyer, if the, excuse me, if the lawyer takes one third, you also get one third, okay? Wherever the amount I'm, I could sue for. Um, so, um, it's just, uh, it's been a crime that's been going on for a long time. Uh, so you know, these lies on the internet, like I said, has ruined my life. It made me homeless. Couldn't get a job, couldn't get a place to live. You know, f no friends, family, whatever. It, it affected everything, okay? Um, a lot of emotional and uh, mental um, stress. And um, I mean, this situation, of course, is known as defamation of character. Uh, which is against the law, and um, I have a right to prosecute. Um, so, you know, if anyone knows where it is on the internet, uh, just please tell me. Um, um, I'll make a deal with you, okay? Like I said, if the lawyer, whatever the lawyer takes, I don't know what it is in the state of Vermont as far as the percentage of what lawyers take, but whatever they take is what also what you get, okay? This whole situation as far as um, making deals with someone who finds it, it's not really about the money, it's about my good name. I want my good name back. I'm getting tired of people smudging my good name all over the internet, okay? I'm tired of looking like the bad guy because I'm not the bad guy, okay? I helped a lot of people in the past and they're grateful for it, you know? And, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not a troublemaker. I just wanna, you know, I'll keep to myself. Um, I just want to be successful as far as uh, a career and a family, and uh, that's it. I mean, you know, I just, I'm not a troublemaker. So, but I would greatly appreciate it if um, somebody finds out where it is, which I know thousands, maybe millions of you know where it is. Um, so, um, so, you know, if you can, um, you know, if you find it, if you, you know, please step forward. You know, it would help me a lot. Maybe help you as well, of course, uh, as far as this bargain or deal. Um, I'm willing to sign a contract in front of a lawyer, like I said, if anyone finds this. So, but I want everything. All the pictures, all the false statements um, about me on this website, wherever it may be. Um, um, if you do find the information, I do have a Gmail. It's robertdemars at 578 at gmail.com. So if you do find something like this, or if you do find it at all, of course, um, everything, um, I'll make a deal with you, okay? Um, but like I said, um, I just want my good name back. Uh, I'm not the bad guy here, I'm just the victim. And, uh, and uh, it's been going on too long, and it's getting really stupid. Um, as far as, you know, the guys bending over, the women, um, you know, the kids, it's just, you know, stupid. Like I said, I had to quit my job because the teenagers were doing it. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to, the situation get out of control. So I gave my week's notice and uh, now you know, I'm doing something else. But um, it was a good job and the people were nice for our staff and coworkers. But uh, um, 
Unfortunately, I had to leave because it might have escalated into a more bigger and worse problem. And, um, and uh, I didn't want that falling into place. So um, I left on good intentions. So, um, but if anyone could find it out there, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, like I said, it's not really about the money anyway. It's, it's my good name. Um, you know, I want people to respect me for um, who I am. Um, like I said, I'm not the bad guy here. I helped a lot of people in the past. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a troublemaker. And, uh, you know, I just want to be left alone and just uh, do what I can to uh, survive and be successful uh, in the future. So, um, but, you know, you know about my Gmail. And if you got any questions in society, regardless of Malone or if I'm with my girlfriend, just come up and ask me a question. That's all. And I'll be happy to answer it for you. Um, instead of um, people just making uh, false stories about me, you know, just going by what they're seeing and reading on the internet. Um, so just, you know, just come up and ask me a question and I'll be glad to answer it for you. And um, so, um, but other than that, um, you know, um, I just want to do what's right and just uh, move on. But, uh, you know, that's my story and, uh, you know, that's what's been going on and, um, you know, hopefully people will, um, you know, look at me a little bit different now. Um, so, um, but, um, you know, I'm willing to help, you know, people if they need help and uh, that's it. But uh, I'm not going to be uh, falsely accused of something I'm not. So, um, and that's that. And, uh, and uh, I just hope uh, you take me seriously and uh, find this website and um, you know, just let me know so we can end this once and for all. So uh, you know, over 10 years is a long time to be uh, accused of something I'm not. So uh, help me help you, okay? So um, hopefully someone will uh, step forward soon and uh, be honest and do the right thing. And, uh, and uh, if you do, then you'll be rewarded and I'll get my good name back. So, but um, all right, well, thank you very much. And um, hopefully someone out there will be honest and, and uh, help me out, you know. So thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>